In the last lesson, we learned about the basics of stoichiometry and all the different ways that we can use to, uh, to do these questions. In this lesson, we're just going to practice. So here we have an equation which is already balanced because we can see there are numbers in the front. It says what mass of sodium is needed to react with 46 grams of oxygen. Okay, so they've given us the mass of oxygen. So we could use this formula to work out the moles of oxygen. And so that's going to be its mass, which is 46, over its molar mass. Now the molar mass is from the periodic table, and I've given you values over here. And so for oxygen, it's going to be 16 plus 16, which is 32. And that's going to give us a value of 1.4375. If there's a whole lot of values on your calculator, or like only, let's say, three or four numbers on your calculator, just write all of them down until we get to the final answer. But if there was like a whole lot of numbers on your calculator, then you can round off to two decimal places. But for now, we'll just keep it like that. And so that's going to be moles... And that's going to be of oxygen. Now what we do is we look at the equation and we can see that the ratio from Na to oxygen is 4 to 1. Now we have 1.4375 oxygen. And so how do we go from here to here? You multiply by 4. And so we do the same with this one. So we will multiply that answer by 4. And so therefore your Na or your sodium moles would be equal to 5.75. Now the question says, what mass of sodium? So we need to convert this moles of sodium into mass. And so we can use our N equals to M over capital M formula again, where the moles we already have is 5.75, and that's equal to the mass, which we don't know, over the molar mass of sodium, which is 23. And so if you had to go work out the mass of sodium, you're going to end up with 132.25 grams. Okay, next question. Here they say, determine the mass of HNO3 that reacted if this many particles of... Here's the next one. It says, determine the mass of HNO3, which is nitric acid, that reacted if this many particles are formed. So they've given us the number of particles for zinc nitrate. So we could use the or this formula using Avogadro's constant to determine the moles. So you could say n is equal to the number of particles, which is 4.08 times 10 to the 23, over Avogadro's number, which is a constant that will be given to you in the exams. And if you work this out, you end up with and this will give us 0, 0,68 moles of zinc nitrate. Okay, so now we have the moles. Let me just scroll up over here. Now we have the moles of zinc nitrate, and they want to know the mass of HNO3. So now we need to work out the, the, the moles of HNO3. So let's quickly write down HNO3 and zinc nitrate. Their ratio in the formula is 2 to 1, but what we have here is 0 0.68, and so we can see that the ratio you have to times by 2, and so we'll times this one by 2, and so we'll end up with 1.36 moles of HNO3. Then we can take that and convert it into mass, so N is equal to M over capital M. Oh, I see I haven't added the molar numbers, okay, so for for H, it's 1. For N, it's 14. And for oxygen, it's 16. And so we know the number of moles is 1.36. The mass, we don't know. The molar mass for HNO3 would be 1 plus 14 plus 3 oxygens, which would be 3 times 16, which is 48. That will then give us 1.36 equals to mass over 63. And then to get mass by itself, you would say 1.36 times by 63. And that's going to give us a value of 85.68 grams. Here's another one. So it says, determine the mass of HNO3 needed to produce 18 grams of hydrogen. So we can take that 18 grams of hydrogen and convert it into moles. 
and so so I've given the molar values over here and so we can say that the number of moles is going to be equal to 18 divided by hydrogen which is two H's so that's going to be two and so there's going to be nine moles of hydrogen now we can use our ratios to convert the hydrogen into HNO3 so we know that the ratio in the equation is 2 to 1 but how much hydrogen do we actually have we have 9 and so we can see that you have to times by 2 and times by 2 and so therefore we have 18 moles of HNO3 we could then convert that into mass by using the n equals to m over m formula again and so we know that we have 18 moles we don't know the mass the molar mass of HNO3 well it would be one hydrogen plus a nitrogen plus three oxygens which are each 16 so that would be 48 so that's going to give us 18 equals to m over 63 and you could then work out the mass as 18 times by 63 and that will give us 1134 grams Okay, here's another one they say determine the mass of HNO3 needed to produce 60 decimeters of gas at STP there we go guys STP standard temperature and pressure that should automatically make you think that one mole of gas is equal to 22,4 decimeters so what we could do is we could convert this 60 decimeters into moles by using this formula there we go and so that's going to be 60 decimeters over the magic molar volume which is 22,4 and that's going to give us the moles as 2.68 moles now that's going to be for hydrogen okay because that was 60 decimeters of hydrogen but the question wants us to work out the mass of HNO3. So we can now use the mole ratios between hydrogen and HNO3, which is in the formula. We can see it's a 2 to 1 ratio. The hydrogen that we already have is 2.68. And so we can see that we have to multiply by 2. So we multiply by 2. And that'll be 5.36. That's the moles of HNO3. We could then use N equals to M over capital M. Oh, I must give you the molar values. And so the number of moles of HNO3 is 5.36. We don't have the mass. The molar mass would be 1 plus 14 plus 3 oxygens, which is 48. We're just going to go solve now directly. So that'll be 5.36 times by that molar mass, which is 63. And that'll give us 337.68 grams. So it says that a solution of 0 0.4 moles per decimeter, so that's concentration of HNO3 with a volume, reacts with excess zinc. Determine the mass of zinc nitrate that will form. Okay, so they've given us the concentration and volume of HNO3, so that means we could use this formula to work out the moles. And so to work out moles, it would be concentration multiplied by volume, and so the concentration is 0 0.4, the decimeters is 50, that's the correct unit, and if you multiply that together, you end up with 20, so therefore, um, we have 20 moles of HNO3. That would then allow us to work out the moles of zinc nitrate just by using the ratio. So it will be HNO3 to zinc nitrate. We can see from the balanced equation that the ratio is 2 to 1. And we have 20 moles of HNO3. So we divide by 2, and so we divide by 2, and we'd end up with 10. So therefore, we have 10 moles of zinc nitrate and then we can convert that into mass so we have 10 moles of zinc nitrate and then we could convert that into mass by using the formula n equals to m over capital m where the number of moles is 10 the mass we don't know now the molar mass we need to get from the periodic table so it's zinc which is over here is 65 Plus, now this 2 means that there's 2 nitrogens, so that's going to be 14 plus 14, which is 28. 
and then six oxygens. So that'll be six times 16. And if we had to go work everything out, you're gonna get the mass of zinc nitrate as 1,890 grams.